Let me tell you about a guy named John Beale. He worked at the EPA for a long time, and he was actually a, a fairly important character there. He helped to rewrite the Clean Air Act in 1990. That's really important. He headed up the EPA delegations to the United Nations Conferences on Climate Change in 2001 and two, I'm sorry, 2000 and 2001. He helped to negotiate agreements to reduce carbon emissions with China, India, and other nations. So the highest paid employee at the agency. That's exactly right. He got high. He, isn't that amazing? He got paid higher than his boss. Yes. The head of the EPA, uh, and he has uh, been uh, accused of doing quote a crime of massive proportion. So what is it, right? So he works at the EPA. I was like, what do you do? Like, mm -hmm. like work for an oil company? Like, what, what, what was it? Like, just eat it up global warming? Uh, no, it turns out that John C. Beale might have defrauded the U.S. government out of nearly $900,000 since 2000. So now, how did he do that is the interesting question. He did it uh, by pretending that he also worked at the CIA at the same time. So he would go to the EPA administrators <laughs> be like, oh, got a call from Langley. Got to go. I got to go to London right now, first class. Sorry. So he would stay at five-star resorts for days on end. He'd go first class, trip after trip after trip, constantly up. Oof, oof. That's a tough break, man. I was working on that green project, uh, working on cleaning up a toxic site. Langley. Fucking Langley. <laughs> right? He, from, dude, from June of 2011 until December of 2012, he didn't go to work. He didn't go to work. <laughs> yeah. No, he no, no. It gets better than that. So first, there's an 18 month stretch where he's like, Langley. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> you're gonna find out. He's never been to Langley. Okay. Anyway, he said, Pakistan. They, I, I gotta go to Pakistan. The guy that was that replaced me in Pakistan, they took him hostage. And they're torturing him. Yeah, and I gotta get there right away. So he's off to go. He goes home. People see him like jogging in the neighborhood, walking his dog, <laughs> he went to a local Starbucks. He went to Cape Cod for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He has a house on the Cape. It was there. Oh, this guy is unbelievable. But you know what? If you can defraud the government pretending to be the CIA, maybe you should be in the CIA. Like, I don't think there's an agent in the CIA oh, no. this good, right? Well, yes. Uh, so. Well, let out Valerie, Valerie Plain. <laughs> Patrick Smith uh, Sullivan, uh, EPA Assistant Inspector General, says, after they did an investigation, I'll tell you why they did an investigation in a second. Turns out, quote, he's never been to Langley, the CIA's <laughs> Virginia headquarters. The CIA has no record of him ever walking through the door. Well, of course that's what yeah. they would say, Jenk. He's working undercover. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no. So, see, all of this gets better. Why did they do this? Uh, why did they catch on to him in the first place? He's been doing this since 2000, right? Yes. Because that's great. he held a retirement party on a yacht, okay? <laughs> but didn't actually retire. But doesn't retire. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody is like, like, a year later, they're like, why, is, why are we still paying Beal? Why is he on the payroll? I was at his retirement party on a yacht. <laughs> Gina McCarthy, the, the, EPA, the head uh, of the EPA. The EPA administrator. In March, she's, uh, six months later, she's like, I thought this fucking guy retired. Yeah. She's like, I just signed his check. Yeah. It's fantastic. I mean, I mean, seriously, the gonads on this guy are unbelievable. And it, I like it, man. I, I mean, so of well, course it's all horrible. He should be arrested. He should pay it back. He should go to jail. Of course, of course, of course, right? Yeah, but, but, but there's something to respect about a guy doubt. who's got that kind of intestinal fortitude. That he's now, now, I told you the other night that when I was able to be a comedian and make my living as a comedian, I felt like I, I won. I beat the system. Right. You know, I don't yeah. have to have a job or whatever. The only guy better than being a comedian is this guy. Because yeah. I had to still show up places, right? He yeah. didn't have to do anything. This guy is the ultimate scammer. He beat life. That's how I feel. And the only reason is because he got greedy. He overreached. He retired and still kept taking a check. If he had just walked away, we would never yeah. know about this. That, that's always how they get caught. They get too greedy. I mean, yeah. you, you had like 12 years under your belt, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Call yeah. it a day. You retired. Yeah. yeah. Pension, just retired. Yes, you yeah. got a pension. Nobody yeah. knows when they won. He, so, he billed the government 57000 for five trips to California. It's $11,000 a trip. 
Yeah, I mean, you're submitting the receipts. It's one thing to, to not work and go to the hotels, but you're putting in for everything. And so the EPA is paying for his CIA trips? That doesn't make any sense either, I know, right? They, like, like, nobody no. catches They're this? They're investigating the guy who authorized all this, because that guy is either the world's biggest schmuck, or maybe and he's a little he, dicey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The highest pay in the entire department. That had to be a, the result of corruption as well. So, yeah, no, it gets better and better. He said that he had... He had to get a handicapped parking yeah. spot so he can be the closest. Because he not only is it like he can take 18 months off, but if he comes into work, he's not walking across no. the parking lot. How did he get the handicapped parking spot? He said he got malaria in Nam. Uh. <laughs> uh. There's two things wrong with that. <laughs> Doesn't have malaria, never went to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I love about this guy is that we've probably all experienced this. You, you're growing up and you're like you're you're nine years old and you have like a friend and his friend the friend is always like you know my father's in the CIA you know he's a secret agent or something and you get certain benefits off of that. This guy decided you just never stop saying that but you make it about you. You get all the same benefits and you get paid. Yeah. I would like to know the day he decided to do that. Like what and the first time he said it. Like who did he say it to? And then he just went back in his car. He's like this. This is gonna fucking work. <laughs> He's been riding that high for all this time. Yes. And it's a high. Oh, boy. And you're right, Jimmy. He can go to jail, et cetera. He still won. He won. Because he milked it for 12, 12 years. years. Now, that's a win, man. That's a win in my book. And finally, they catch him, right? So he does two things which are awesome, befitting of this guy. Uh, number one, he's like, yeah, you got me. Yeah, I know I made that all. <laughs> okay. So, like, to the guys who caught him, he's like, yeah, no, I hear you, brother. Mm -hmm. uh, the jig is up. Okay, there we go. But then he turns around and he's like, yeah, he tells everybody else he's working with, well, I had to tell him that. I didn't want to ruin it for the guys at the CIA. <laughs> so, quote, I took one for the team. Yes. And there's okay. still, there still people at the EPA who are like, what's his name? Beal. Yeah. Beal, they're like, John, John took one for the team. Yes. Yeah. You know, it was CIA. Yeah. 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 Hey, you know, he's going to go to prison. It's because he didn't want to turn on those guys at Langley mm -hmm. that he served with in Nam. <laughs>